Cool the dark spot. Don't touch that. He created most of that yardage on his own, shrugging off the initial tackle attempt and continuing to rumble downfield. We go three tight ends here on first and ten. On the handoff, it's Connor. And this time they are ready for it. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. And this is a great example of why it's so important on defense to sprint to the ball. His ability to make people miss is hard for one guy to get him on the ground. But when you can get everybody to the ball, eventually you can take him down. And in this case, they do it for a loss. They'll go again here to Connor. And a nice run there as he surges forward. A gain of eight and sets up third down. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations. It'll get you the first down, just not here. Murray on third down. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. A gain there of 11. It's an Arizona first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Here's second and six. Second and six. On the game, this is Connor. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. Lane closed quickly. And here comes third down. We'll try and run for this with Connor. He's got the first down. They'll bring him down at the 28. But the sticks will move. First down, picked up on the ground. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. First down throw for Murray. That's caught. It's the tight end, Tip Ryman. And he's going to be out of bounds, but they're going to mark him inside the 10-yard line. First time they've looked his way all game long, but he comes through with the grab and a first down. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. They'll run it here, and it's Connor. He slowed up quickly as he gets this down to the six. Here now, second down and goal. Now, Murray on the bootleg. He'll tuck it and take yeah, off. To be like that. Looking for a seam, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line. Great job in coverage here. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. He decides to tuck it and turn it to a runner. They get to him quickly. Picks up a couple yards, but not enough now. Brings up third down. Third and goal. Murray. Try to do it again. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. 
Monty has practiced these situations all week long, Mike. Down here in the tight red zone, you find yourself inside the 10 yard line. You're thinking, we've got to come away with a touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. I think apart from the wind, when you talk about kicking in the elements, Mike, I think the snow has to be the kicker's worst nightmare. It's just so hard to have the confidence that when you stick that plant foot, it's not going to give way. So give credit. That was really well done. So Prater now, after the made field goal, back out to kick off. Rodriguez on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and Jaden Daniels ready to take over once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. Here's first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Daniels. Right side. Catch made by McLaurin. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. So, no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. And Sunday Night Football continues after this. We're trying to burn some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Gets to the edge at the 30. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. It's a big play when they needed it the most. 37 yards. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. They'll go play action here with Daniels. Well, that scramble is ultimately going to end up short of the first down, Mike, but it's going to help quite a bit. That's a great job by the quarterback. Just taking what the defense gives you, get downfield, pick up good yardage. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Dotson, the man in motion. They'll run. It's Eckler. He slams it in there. And he is Just in. in. Austin Eckler. Touchdown, Commander. Greg, they did everything they wanted to do on that drive, and now a chance to really make it an important lead. Mike, with that touchdown there, they're an extra point conversion from extending this lead to a two-score game. And at this point in the fourth quarter, I think they feel pretty good about their chances of holding on. Extra point attempt to come here. He gets it to go. And the Commanders are going to open up the lead to eight. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away DJ Dallas now to return 
And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And it's hard to believe you can run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. Set to go now on first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Murray. Quick throw here is complete. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Now a second down throw from Murray. He keeps it himself. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. That pickup is good for 29 yards. Mike, anytime you're preparing to play a quarterback like this, the defense has to be prepared to keep him in the pocket. Once he gets out, we can see clearly why he is such a threat with his legs. On first and ten, Murray. That's left side, and that's the tight end, McBride. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run. A lot. And he's going to pick up the first down. Tackle made right at the 20-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And that Good one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. They'll stick to the ground. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs. Back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Third, six, two, run here. Three. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. Trailing late. They've got to go here. It's fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Murray. Oh, the blitz gets there. He is sacked, and they will turn it over on down. And this is a tricky call for this coach. A field goal doesn't do you a lot of good, but a touchdown does. So I don't hate the call, but great job by this defense coming up with a stand and getting the ball back. The home team's offensive Terry McLaurin heading out onto the field. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drive. First down and ten.
The drive starts with a carry by Eckler. Oh, a short game there to about the 22. Here's second and nine. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's certainly not one of his better throws, but what I've loved out of this quarterback today, Mike, was just how aggressive he's remained throughout the entire course of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Even if it falls incomplete, it opens up everything else in this passing game, and they've had their way so far today. On third down, they'll throw with Daniel. He'll try and get there on the ground. And Daniels will slide to a stop. Wise move as a young quarterback. That's how you stay around and become a vet. He picked up the first down. A first down there. Gain of 14 yards. So from the 36, it is first and 10. On play action, Daniels. Now pass deep from McLaurin. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. There's only a handful of guys in the league who legitimately have world-class speed, and he's one of them. He's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Deami Brown. Touchdown, Washington. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. An extra point attempt to follow. He's got it. And the Commanders will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. ready to go once more as the kicks away on the return and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line the visitors offense and their running back getting set for this next possession and he has put in a full game's work and then some just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Now Murray on first down. He'll try to work the screen with Connor. They were not fooled on defense. Saw the screen from the start. It'll be a loss of yardage on the play. Second down, Murray. That ball caught. It's Zay Jones. Touchdown, Arizona. So they get the touchdown, and now it is a nine-point game. Greg, you can go for one and make it a one-possession game. 
or some people think about going for two here. What would you do? I think I'm going for two, Mike. Listen, the way you have to look at it is I need a two-point conversion at some point. But I want to know now, am I down truly two scores, or am I able to get it down to seven and truly make it a one score? So I'm going for two now, and I want to know what the rest of this game looks like. How many possessions do I need? The kick here is good, so they are back within a possession. That gets it down to an eight-point game. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. A safe kick taken at the five. And he's down at 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The commander's offense and their quarterbacks headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at them has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Play action. Here's Daniels. Off he goes. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. A quick slant on the money to the floor. Bring him down on the other side of midfield. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. On second down, it's Daniels. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Big time opportune sack there by the defense. Mike, they're right on the cusp of field goal range. You can't allow this to become a two possession ball game here in the fourth quarter. Massive third down coming up here. See if they can get off the field and get the ball back to their offense. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And they're going to get him once again. He's under siege. That is three in a row. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. On fourth down, the commander's going to send out their veteran Tress Way to punt. Greg Dortch, peak to return. Short return, and they'll take over there. The Cardinals offense ready to get back at him. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. On the move. 40. And he will take this one in. 
70 yards. Touchdown, Arizona. So add another touchdown and touchdown pass for that matter. He has thrown six already in this one. Amazing stuff. So a big play coming here for the Cardinals, who will go for two. Murray now. He's got a man. That's caught. Give them the two, and we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Everything's about matchups, especially down here this close to the goal line. I think my guy's better than your guy. I'm going to put him in a position to have success, throw it up to him, and let him do the rest. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The commander's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. They'll run to begin the drive with Eckler. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. Again, it's Eckler. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down. It'll go down as a loss of two. A loss of two brings up third and ten. Two minutes to play in regulation. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment. This is a tough spot. Third down and ten. The open receiver is Dodson. 12 yards on that hookup. Good for a commander's first down. I think it's clear, Mike. I think they have their sights set on winning this game in regulation. I don't think overtime is even in the picture. They're trying to be aggressive, continue to move this ball down. Can they find a way to pull this game off here late in the fourth quarter? This one is caught by Dodson. And they'll have it across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. A clutch throw here to keep their chances alive. Tie ball game. game. As they approach midfield now, they've got to keep an eye on the clock. They've got to find a way to get this ball into field goal range, stop the clock, and see if your kicker could be a hero. Oh, shit. Oh, that is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there. Defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. All right. So this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. That's a smart play. Second down, don't force it if it's not there. He's able to tuck it, pick up some extra yards, and set up a more manageable third down. Here's a big one, this third down. They'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass looked to be on target. No catch. 
And now fourth down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. The tight end, Ertz, in motion. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he's going to have a commander's first down. They wind up with a gain of 11 on fourth down. Here's Eckler. Good blocking to the 15. He's taken down just shy of the 10. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Oh, and this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. Extra point drive, fourth come. It's up and through. And the Commanders will go up by seven. the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Dortch now to return it. He'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And you get a look at the numbers, they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. Off the play fake. Here's Murray. He's got a man wide open. The tight end complete. That catch puts him over the 100-yard mark here tonight. And it gives the team a first down. From the gun, it's Murray. He connects downfield to Dortch. And this will bring them all the way down to the 20-yard line. Pressure time. No timeouts to stop the clock as they get set here for a big first down. From the shotgun, it's Murray. Oh, and a pressure there. He can't get a throw away. And he's taken down. And the timeout comes. The whistle blows with three seconds remaining on the clock. To play in the NFL, you got to have a short-term memory because regardless of whether the previous play was good or bad, they're going to line up and snap it again. In this case, really nice job bouncing back. They put the bad play behind them, forced the sack. And this... Oh, they do it on the final play. And now decision time, down one. Will they go for Offside. two and the Eight win? Hits.
that penalty is declined. As big a call as you can make. Down one, go for two, go for the win. And he'll be brought down there, and that'll put a wrap on this one. Time has expired in this fourth quarter. So it's a win here for the Commanders. It was a game that delivered more points than most people would have expected with the snow falling at kickoff. Entertaining game for all involved as they'll head back to the locker room to warm up with a victory in their back pocket. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Commanders are winners. As we say so long from just outside our nation's capital. Stay here. Thank you.